Hey guys, Todd H. Lugging Nuts Hot Rod Garage. Um, it's been a little while since I've done a video. Um, like I told you, I think I told you guys on the last video that summertime's just it's just hard to get stay focused and and uh, work on the bench and build models. Um, I did, however, catch a video, <clears throat> and excuse me, guys, I'm going to be looking at my notes tonight. Um, I just watched a couple of videos by Jan Heyer over at uh, the Northview Model Shop. And uh, if any of my subscribers by some long shot isn't uh, subscribed to him, get over and subscribe to him. He does some really cool builds. But the, the focus of his uh, videos today was to talk about your mentors in, in the modeling community on YouTube. And uh, it, it kind of struck a chord with me, and I thought, well, since I'm not really doing much building right now, uh, I could still throw out a video and, and uh, talk about some of my, my mentors and the people that inspire me on, on YouTube. Um, there's a few of them, and actually, in all honesty, all of, all of you that are my subscribers and people that I follow, all of you inspire me um, to be a better, better modeler and to try new techniques. Um, but there, there's, there's a few that I'm going to mention. And uh, gosh, the last thing I want to do is offend or hurt anybody's feelings. But these are the people when I very first got started. And, and uh, for some of you, keep in mind that I'm coming up on... Oh gosh, oh, almost five years now. Uh, my very first video I put out, January 19th, 2014. Um, and if you guys go back through my, my archives, you can check it out. It was, it was horrible. Um, I videoed it totally wrong and horrible. But hey, you, you learn in this, in this uh, hobby and in, in the community. Um, don't get me wrong, my videos aren't, still aren't that great, but certainly better than when I first started. Um, but anyway, uh, mentors and people that inspire me. Um, I think Jan's going to do a series and devote videos, and, and I may do that, but I don't know. It is getting towards the end of summer, and, and uh, that's going to be cooling down as far as car stuff and all that. And as you guys all know, I've got a one-to-one -one Camaro um, that I'm very involved with and been involved with the, with that world for the last 30 plus years. So um, it's not going away anytime soon. Um, but at any rate, I'm gonna probably touch on all of my mentors or people that inspired me in the community in this one video. Um, I may try to do some individual videos, but I think I'm just, I just want to get this out there and let some of these people know that uh, that they they helped me and they inspired me in this community and, and I'm grateful for it um, because when I very first started the last model I built was probably when I was about nine or ten years old um, and I, I built airplane models at the times so my dad was in the Air Force and we were on an Air Force base and so he'd go get me um, model airplanes and in all honesty he probably built 90% of them because I just didn't have any patience when I was when I was a young kid. Anyway, um, trying to stay on, on task here guys. Um, probably the, the first person I've got to mention is Dr. Cranky. Um, I stumbled across one of his videos just surfing around on, on YouTube. I don't even know what I was surfing or searching for, but one of his videos came up. And at first I thought, what's a Dr. Cranky? Um, hadn't, got, hadn't really thought about getting back into modeling even at that time. I just had stumbled across one of his videos and here was somebody just doing amazing things with that I never even comprehended that was being done or could be done with model kits, car kits, whatever. Um, and it just got me thinking, man, this would be something that would keep me busy in the winter time. Um, 
because obviously out here in Oregon there's not a whole lot going on in the winter time with car stuff it's raining and cold and nasty so I thought man this would be great to get back in this hobby and try some of these techniques and I watched I'm not gonna say I watched all of his videos um, because I think even at the time when I was getting started I think he was pushing a thousand videos but I watched probably most of them and I just had to get out there and go buy some kits and, and dig in and, and start trying some of this stuff. But anyway, yeah, first and foremost, Dr. Cranky, thank you. Thank you for what you do for the community and thank you for all the videos and the information and that you've put out over the years. And um, there again, uh, that's another person that if by chance I have any new subscribers that are just getting into the hobby that haven't subscribed to Dr. Cranky, just search him on YouTube, you'll find him and, and do yourself a favor and subscribe to him. Um, and, and honestly guys, the rest of these really aren't in any particular order. Um, this is, these are people that just over the years, um, and actually I thought I did think of one more, um, that I've just subscribed to over the years and uh, and followed and 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 have tried different techniques or have things in mind that I want to try because of, of the videos that they've put out. Um, the next person that I briefly will talk about is Hunter Selby over at Showtime Studios. Um, gosh, again, just that guy is just amazing an amazing craftsman and builder he's also involved in the one-to-one -one car world um, and the stuff he does with with plastic models is just amazing um, I stumbled onto him a, a little bit after um, Dr. Cranky but uh, absolutely these these guys are just monsters in the community um, Please be sure you get over and subscribe to him. In fact, uh, Hunter, I've reached out to him. I've emailed with him, and we've done video chat a few times. And I'm telling you guys, he will he will do whatever he can to help you. Um, he's working on some wheels for me for my uh, my build that I'm doing. That's going to be a replica of my one to one Camaro. Um, uh, the wheels that I have, I could not find in any kit. Uh, Hunter wasn't aware of them in any kit. And he said, uh, I think I could build your wheels for you. And so he's working on that. I didn't give him any time frame. Um, hopefully sometime by, by the end of this year, I'll have them. But I'm in no hurry uh, to get that car done because it's, it's going to take a while. And I may even, after some of the tutorials that Hunter's doing with uh, frame jigs and stuff like that, I, I don't know, I've just, I might be... It, it may take a while to get that build done, but at any rate, uh, Showtime Studios, Hunter Selby. Go check him out, guys. Um, next one, Old Tom, Rambler 69. Um, that guy is just, and again, another amazing builder. Guys, I, I know I'm going to probably be repeating myself, but these are all big, as far as I'm concerned, these guys are pillars of the community. They've been out there for a really long time. A lot of these guys have been out there many years before I, I got the nerve to put up a video. Um, and, and again, this is probably going to be mostly for my newer subscribers. Um, to Hopefully you guys will, will see this video and you can get out there and subscribe to, to these amazing craftsmen and builders. Um, Tom does just beautiful, amazing work. Early on, he used to do a lot of uh, race cars, drag cars, and that type of thing, and, and he's kind of got tired of that, and he, he's done, he does other, other models and trucks, and just does beautiful, beautiful work. Um, another one, um, Butch over at Full Throttle Customs. Amazing scratch builder. He, he builds mostly... Uh, Oh gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, good grief, I can't believe I can't think of this. Anyway, he builds his own frames and um, and hot rods and, and 
It's just ridiculous, the stuff that he does. It just blows my mind. Um, Sheldon over at Outlaw Speed Shop. Um, it, to let you guys know kind of how small of a world, uh, Sheldon's actually originally from my neck of the woods out here in Southern Oregon. And um, he used to work with my dad. And uh, where he worked, he was a fabricator. And he takes that skill into the model building and just does beautiful work. And, and he, um, he makes a lot of his own parts and I believe he even sells them, um, but just does amazing, amazing builds. Um, another one is Fast Jimmy 71. Uh, another guy that's been in the community a really long time. Um, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, I actually think he's been in the community a little longer than Dr. Cranky, and, and I think those guys going on 10 years, maybe a little more. Um, but anyway, yeah, check out Fast Jimmy stuff. He does beautiful. Um, anyway, real quick, back to Butch. Um, Pro Street is what his specialty is, and just really badass stuff. Um, another one, Rick over at Heartbeat Model Shop. Um, I think him and I, and actually I'm going to throw this one in there right now too, Rusty K, um, Rusty K's Rad Rods Garage. We kind of got started in the community about the same time and uh, probably have gotten to know those guys the best. Um, we do video chats and, and text and chat on the phone uh, quite regular um, and again just amazing stuff those guys do Rick has a one-to-one -one Camaro and so that's kind of what we, we kind of built our friendship from that as well as the modeling stuff a um, couple more guys and, and I'm wrapping this up uh, another one that inspired me considerably was Chris Chapman over at Rusty Nuts Model Shop. Now Chris hasn't done a video for a while. Um, I see him on Facebook from time to time, so I know he's doing okay. I think he's just been busy with work um, and hasn't put out a video for a while. Um, but probably one of the pioneers, uh, actually him and, and uh, CP 101, Classic Plastic 101, Chris, those guys and actually Chris is another one I need to mention. Um, those guys, what they do with, with uh, acrylic paints is just mind-boggling. The, the finishes they can get with them and, and, and it's just, I'm running out of words, guys. Um, so real quick, CP, Classic Plastic 101, Chris, amazing stuff. Enjoy his videos. Um, the, how he does his videos and and it's just 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 amazing uh, do yourselves a favor and get over there and 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 subscribe to all these guys um, probably the last one that I, I can think of for now is CT speed shop um, he hasn't put out a video for a while uh, I know he he comments from time to time he's commented on my videos from time to time um, looks like he's been busy with some one-to-one -one projects uh, that he's involved with. Um, would really like to see him put out a video. Uh, it's been a long time. Put out a video, buddy. Um, anyway, guys, um, I may try to do individual videos for these guys, but if I don't, just know that you all inspire have inspired me over the years and and when I first got started in in the um, in the getting back into modeling and getting into the YouTube community um, a lot of the new guys may not realize that when you're building models and then you start putting up videos that the whole video thing turns into another aspect or another arm of, of the hobby and uh, you can take this to whatever level you want as well but at any rate, real quick, I am going to show you guys again um, my shop cards just to let all of these people know that you all have inspired me. Um, so just because I didn't particularly sh give you a shout out tonight or mention you specifically, um, 
you all you all do amazing work and and are inspirational and and keep me going and have got me to the level that I'm at and and trust me guys I have a long ways to go um, but at any rate um, I'm gonna wrap this up this is 15 minutes long so you probably most of you guys probably only watch two or three minutes so at any rate if you stuck with me this long I appreciate it be sure to subscribe um, click like on the video um, I'd appreciate it and if you're stumbling into this video please subscribe and and do yourselves a favor and, and reconnect with the hobby because it's it's amazing it's it's just a great time and this community is great and the people out there will just bend over backwards to help you. At any rate, hope you all have a re good rest of your week, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.